Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Now, I've been working and thinking long and hard about how I can maximise our little dam here with our water overflow for a filtration system. And a lot of the comments that we're getting as a part of the, using a coanda screen and things like that, I just don't have, it seems to me, I just don't have the height to pick up the water flow over the coanda and then send it back down towards the turbine. So my thought process is at the moment is that I'd like to sort of see if I can make a cylindrical tube filtration system where I have an, an internal pickup. So imagine, you know, a large diameter pipe and, you know, something like this and then have the pickup in the middle going off to the turbine. Now, I've sort of, I've just got a, I've got this with me as a, I want to see if I can pull this off as a prototype and, and then I'll get it made up in, in aluminium or stainless or something of the sort. But I, I need to get a template together. So my thought process being is that the water coming over our little spillway here, something like that, would then be able to turn a drum filter and then the water caught in the middle of the pipe be sent off to the turbine. So I'm already looking at you know a few things that I've got going on here and if I was to use something like this and then that would spin I don't know if I'm going to have enough water coming over the pipe to make it spin. So I'm going to have to sort somehow um, do some like internal fins on the inside of this so that the water can catch and spin. Because I'm still, I've got, um, just as an example, oh, of course I can't find it now, but I've got algae growing here on the waterfall. So what I'm finding is that over the summer period, the, the rocks warm up and I get a lot of algae growth. And that algae growth seems to be quite thick. And I'm, I'm, my concern is that running it over Coanda that it's just going to sort of seep in and, and clag up. Having a drum system, that if I can get it to spin on the bearings, and I think that's going to be the key, smoothly and fast, that whatever, and then this is meshed over the top, that it would spin off. And maybe have some cleaning bristles along one edge, that for whatever wasn't clean, um, taken off via gravity, that the brush would then keep the, the mesh, or we do a, um, coanda system on the drum or something of the sort like that so what I'm thinking is that I, I just want to move a few things around and I'm thinking that like really at the end of the day what's going to have to happen is this drum is going to have to sit sort of in this position here so that my spillway is in front and then I can then have my pickup or my pen stop come from in turn and then go around and, and um, make my way down to the turbine. So in saying that though, I have to make a new opening on this side of the little dam wall. I'm going to have to close this off and already looking at where we are, this seems to be almost the height of the spillway so that I can lift that up a bit like so and then that's free to spin. So there's a fair bit of work involved in making a prototype but I think that the end result will be a lot better. My location of this spillway is just all wrong. 
just all wrong. It needs to be more here. And even if this doesn't work as a prototype, and I end up going back to a Coanda screen, I've got a little bit more fall at this side, and then I can make my way around all this large natural rock. I would be really interested in, in receiving comments about if you think that this sort of system may work. And I'm, what my thought process is, is this is a, um, this is a 300 mil PVC pipe that I've just scored a, a, um, an off-cut for. And what I'm thinking is that maybe a 150 cut, uh, maybe a third of it out, um, so that that can then transfer back into a 100 and then back into a 90 for the pen stock. It, there's a lot going on here. Um, we're going to need a few minds to sort of work it all out to say, yep, this is going to work or certainly not. But I'm pretty keen to give it a go. I've got a bit of time up my sleeve at the moment, so I think that with a few things um, experimenting on something like this, and this is what it's really all about, is that if something like this can work, then I think the, the end benefit and result would be absolutely fantastic, where you won't need such a large screen in place, and this can just spin as it needs to. Um, so anyway, look, I, I think that my first port of call is to relocate my spillway to this sort of direction here, and then I can make up some sort of axle system to suspend this, and then I can get some holes drilled in it, and I'll just do a sort of a mesh system just to start with, and we'll, we'll see how that works over time, and then I can slowly put my um, attachment together and then attach it to the pen stock. All right then, so here we are. I've got a heap of work ahead of me to modify my little dam here and um, and then hopefully we can start moving forward and, and, and catch the summer because I was waiting for all this rain to, and well, not so much we've had rain but the water that we've got coming out um, I was hoping that that would turn into a trickle but while we've got the water running, um, I thought I'd take the opportunity to really experiment with a few different options to see what works and what doesn't work, and, and then we can go from there. So, all about trying to get something completely out of the blue as a drum coanda screen running. Now knowing that we have to modify our, our damn wall, that's fine, we've got the time to do that. So, like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.